number five about force and equilibrium. Coplanar forces of magnitudes 8, 12, and 18 act at a point in the direction shown in the diagram. Find the magnitude and direction of the single additional force acting at the same point, which will produce equilibrium. So at the first time, these forces are not in equilibrium. So they are, that means we can find the resultant. Again, using the same formula, we have to find the resultant. So we need to resolve all the forces in the x and y component first. So the torque here can be resolved into here and here. So this is 60. So this is torque cos 60. And the other one is torque sine 60. And for 8 to here and here, this is 30, so 8 cos 30 and 8 sine 30. Now, the resultant in x direction. So right minus left. So we can find the resultant Rx equals to 12 sine 60 plus 18 minus 8 sine 30 equals to 6 square 3 plus 18 minus 4. So this is 14 plus 6 square 3. And for x, ry, we have 8 cos 30 plus 12 cos 60 equals to 4 square 3 plus 6. Now, these two resultants are x and other y as a magnitude. So we can find the magnitude r using Pythagoras rx square plus ry square equals to square root of 14 plus 6 square root 3 square plus 4 square root 3 plus 6 square and we can have the magnitude is 27 0.6 newton. Now, how about the angle? The angle is tangent alpha equals to Ry Ry divided by Rx. So equals to 4 square 3 plus 6 divided by 14 plus 6 square 3. And this alpha is equals to 27.9 degree. Now, from our calculation, we know that the resultant force of uh, the three forces is 27.6. And the alpha here is 27.9 degree. Which is this? Uh, this is not equilibrium. Now, how do you make this system become an equilibrium? So that means you have to give the equal force works in opposite direction. So you have to give additional force as the same magnitude with the opposite direction. So it can be alpha here. So the direction is 27.9 degree negative from 
x minus. Negative here means below, yeah? So we can say below x minus. So this will make our system equilibrium.